I am Jason and welcome to another episode of Historically Marked. This is a Historic National Road Edition. I am in Troy, Illinois, which in today's terms it is known to be a truck stop community and a, in many ways a bedroom community for residents who want to commute to St. Louis or neighboring communities. But it's still about a decent sized community, about a little less than 10,000 residents. I am outside the Mersinger cabin which was rebuilt here on this um, lot here in 2002. It is a reproduction of a cabin that was um, goes dates all the way back to 1857. I'll go ahead and show you a marker, not really related to the cabin, but related to the national road. So I'll go ahead and show you. I don't really know when they let people in here. I'm sure obviously during certain events, but I'm sure last year during 2020, they didn't really let anybody in here for the pandemic. But I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little stroll outside here and uh, okay, it looks like somebody was having a little too much fun on that chair. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and peek inside just a bit. Well, there's a Christmas tree and some old stuff and some memorabilia, so it's kinda like a museum if you know what I mean. I don't want to go too snooping, but yes, there's a lock on there, so I can't go in. I like how there's a historic National Road thing there. <laughs> and right over there is the marker, as well as a well that was a Boy Scout project for Kalen Meeting. Alright, so here's another one of those wide ones. Actually, they're all wide, as I said in my um, previous videos. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, take you here. Now, as I was saying earlier, Troy is um, somewhat a bedroom community, and there's about two or three truck stops here. So easy inter interstate access, you know, from 55, 70, and 270. Like if you want to go to St. Louis, Chicago, or any other big city, this is the, this is the place. But it, it wasn't always that way. Um, but there was a lot of things that did build the city of Troy, such as mining and some early industry, which all, you know, kind of fade over time. It's down here, it says in Troy, they recall an economy fueled by coal, railroads, and of course the National Road. The National Road did provide access from Terre Haute, Indiana to St. Louis, Missouri, and with Troy being a stagecoach um, stop, it definitely benefited the town because some people ended up, you know, staying here. <laughs> so what about this cabin? Okay, let's see what it says here. It looks like home. That's what Frederick Mersinger might say if he could see the cabin in this park. It doesn't say on here, but Troy was originally planned as a town in 1819, but it wasn't until the 1850s when Troy was dedicated as a town and to this day it is a city status as i said before it was under 10,000 just under 10,000 residents but the 2020 census um, returns are supposed to come out later this month which is march so let's look at like a little history there's a lot of old photos here railroads were part of major towns and helped connect many towns together during the 19th century Here's an old gas station. And here's a nice big picture right here. Oil and coal fed, oil and coal fed the economies of many national road communities in Illinois. So yeah, pretty cool. And then the sidebar right here is found on every one of these kiosks about how Thomas Jefferson signed legislation to provide federal funding for a national road all the way from Cumberland, Maryland but Troy was one of the last stops on the west, or, you know, reaching the west end of the National Road, so. Let's take a look at this cabin again. This restored beauty right here. So anybody famous from Troy, Illinois? Well, perhaps the most famous one is um, Senator Paul Simon, not to be confused with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or the same name, but this guy was once a presidential candidate, unsuccessful. But he is known to be a driving force in Illinois. He passed away about mm, 20 some years ago. He lived in one of the old homes just up the road over there. 
And if you go down that road just a little bit, that leads to Bud Klaustermeyer Park, where the water tower is, that is. This is Illinois Route 162. And if you're curious into following the actual historic national road, there are plenty of signs to guide you because it does break off unexpectedly when you go into town. When you, when you go that way, that is. But then when you go that way, it pretty much leads to US 40, which basically replaced the historic national road over the years. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Historically Marked. This is the Historic National Road themed. I am in Troy, Illinois, just east of town, outside the Mersinger cabin and the historical kiosks. So uh, stay tuned for some more National Road episodes. Here, I am Jason, signing off.